Welcome to Forex Trading Strategies. Let us get as many views on this video. So just hit the like button to help get this video in front of many other people. Thank you. Remember to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed in order to be notified of future videos when we upload. Don't be like those people who just come and watch a single video and leave without liking or subscribing, which means they cannot see future videos. Seriously, liking and subscribing on this video does not take two minutes. So go ahead, like the video, comment and subscribe it will motivate me into making more videos for you. Also watch the other Forex Trading Strategies videos on this channel. Visit the blogs, links in the description, to download Forex systems, Forex robots and leaked VIP stuff. Before we get into today's video, some legal stuff. Please note that I am not a financial advisor. All the content posted on this channel does not constitute financial advice. If you need the services of a financial advisor, I recommend you look for someone like that in your town. In simple English, all the information posted on this channel is my own opinion. Use the information posted on this channel at your own risk. Now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about the topic of today. It's about the 5 tips to help you master your emotions in forex trading. So watch this video until the end. In my experience I have seen that many people lose money in forex trading, not because they do not have a good forex trading system, a forex strategy or a set of rules they do not follow, but it's the psychology barrier that they have to get over. Many forex traders simply cannot beat their emotions, and that causes them to make wrong decisions and lose their trading capital in a flash. Forex trading psychology is the most important factor for trading success or failure, but it's sad to say that many traders do not have that factor as priority and instead keep looking for better Forex trading strategies. So how do you master your emotions in Forex trading? 1. Do what you are supposed to do. When the Forex trend is weakening, you should take steps to protect your profits, regardless of the Forex systems that you are using. Remember that in forex trading, you should be thinking how to minimize losses first and not thinking how to win. Even a break-even trade is considered a successful trade because it's not a loss. Likewise when the trend goes in your direction, you will want to set a higher level profit target and on the same time protect your floating profits using a trailing stop loss. 2. You must not like, hate or fall in love with your trades. It is a common mistake that forex traders make. The currencies pairs are not your friends in the forex market, and your only friend is forex trading psychology. Trading with a plan is the number one forex tip, because when a trader is already in a trade position, he or she tends to see the market differently from the first time of analysis. He hopes that the trade will move in his favor and neglect the factors which may change the market conditions. 3. This should be simple. Increase your position size accordingly. Increase your position sizing when you have traded and increased your forex account by 10%, this is to build up your trading capital. Likewise, you should reduce the lot size that you are trading when your account has reduced by 10%. Do not trade using one lot size adjust your lot sizing when you are making profit and when you are making losses. 4. Unless your uncle holds the $6 trillion that move the forex markets on a daily basis, you should always expect the unexpected. In forex trading, always be prepared for both good and bad things. Understand those events and be prepared so that you can take necessary actions when it happens to you. A good forex trading psychology is where you can take into consideration things that are unpredictable in the forex market. For example, if the trade is going in your direction, you must have a mental preparation that it can go against you anytime, so that you will not be surprised if that really happens. 5. Remain emotionally detached. It's hard to do at the beginning, but you must teach yourself to remain emotionally detached from the market. A good forex strategy is that you don't check how your trade is going every now and then. If you keep watching the charts and your trade after every two minutes, you are going to make wrong decisions I can guarantee you. This is because greed and panic may happen, and therefore you adjust the trade. Just leave it to the market to hit stop loss or profit target once you have traded. I hope this video has been of some benefit to you. If you have questions, leave them in the comments box below. We will try our best to answer them in the coming videos. Again subscribe if you are not already subscribed. 
Hit that like button to motivate me to make more videos. Also watch the other videos on this channel and visit the blogs. I will see you in the next video.